How are you today? I'm Sandy Oliver. I'm giving you some information about our first paper for fall um, 2018. Um, this is paper one, and I know, very interesting title. Um, it's taking sides in an argument. And all of your work, all of your research comes from um, our book text. Um, we're going to look at um, sets of articles that have different opinions on some controversial type, some controversial topic. And really what we're trying to do is figure out which one has the best argument. Not maybe so much which one we agree with more from our own hearts, um, but which one does the best job of getting their side out there and you know, making people believe them. Um, and we're going to use some criteria for that. And you have uh, an assignment sheet um, under major assignments. Um, it's also there under week two. Um, a couple other places. Um, Humanities 115, Paper 1, Taking Sides and Argument. Um, you have some specific due dates. You have some specific things I want you to do in these papers. Um, and so I'm going to kind of walk you through that. Um, the first thing is it's three pages. Okay. Um, and so you're going to have to do a few things here. Um, the first thing you're going to have to do is choose your articles. Okay. Here are the sets. And this is on the page as well. But um, articles 11 and 12 are on marriage and its evolving state, um, and those are in the very back of the book, um, pages 488 to 491. Um, 16 and 17 talk about waterboarding, okay, so torture, um, pages 496 to 499. And 18 and 19, that set talks about free speech, um, more importantly, student free speech, and that's on pages 499 to 501. Um, so all of these articles are about a page, maybe page and a half a piece, short stuff, um, not a whole lot of challenging reading there. Um, pick the one that doesn't keep you up all night, okay? Um, make this easier on yourself by not making your initial response um, one of really high emotion. Either you're very adamantly for something or you're very adamantly against something. Um, it makes it harder to be objective, which is what I'm asking you to do here, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, the summary, first thing you have to do with these articles is write me a good summary, okay? Under writing helps to the side, uh, to the left of our Blackboard page, um, I have put a bunch of interesting stuff there for you to help you. Um, one of the best things up there is the Purdue Writing Owl. Um, it's their online writing lab, and it is the best one out there for helping you with questions on um, MLA stuff, APA stuff, grammar, syntax, you know, Word up with commas, that kind of stuff. Um, and so that's up there. I've also got a few shorthand kind of things for you up there, um, some comma rules and that kind of stuff. But the most helpful one is down in the um, papers and process section. And there's one on there on writing summaries. Okay, so if it's been a while since you've had to do that, or if nobody's ever asked you to actually write a formal summary, um, go have a look. Okay, refresh your mind on that one. Um, but I want a summary of each of the articles, excuse me, about a paragraph piece, um, and that will give you plenty to work on for the rest of the paper. But I want to make sure you know what you're reading and you know what the articles are about um, pretty deeply um, before you get into the actual writing about the argument. So that's due first. They are due on August 30th. All these are Thursday dates. Um, if you run into trouble for that, you can't figure it out whatever, um, email me, let me know what your question is. Um, no, you may not choose another topic. Um, you have to choose one of those three, so pick that and move on. Um, the next piece, I will give you some feedback on the summaries, um, and then we move on to the rough draft is two weeks later, kind of how I like to make things go. Um, the rough draft is as far as you can get in your work on that paper by the 13th of September, okay? Um, and by the farthest you can get, I mean, you're making a diligent stab to get this done, okay? So maybe it needs editing. Maybe you're missing a section. Maybe you don't have a conclusion yet. That's fine. Um, but get as much done as you can um, by the 13th and turn that in. Again, I'll give you some feedback, um, let you know how you're doing, um, some places where you need better stuff, where you don't need stuff, whatever, okay? Um, and then the final draft will be due um, September 27th, okay? Now, if you have the assignment sheet out, great. If you don't, pause me, go get it 
print it or whatever and come back. Um, this particular paper, we're looking at two sides of the same argument. Okay, um, We're trying to figure out which one of these articles does the best job of getting their point across, which one wins the argument from an objective standpoint. Okay, now that doesn't mean that they can't use um, emotion. It just means that that can't be their only thing. Okay, and um, remember, this is this starts out um, chapter two stuff: obstacles. You know, thinking um, obstacles to critical thinking, um, group group think, self of interest, that kind of stuff. Make sure they're not doing any of that. Um, it also takes into consideration stuff we're going to get in chapter four on experts and evidence. Um, so there's some pieces on that as well. Um, if you go down the grading criteria, this is my, here's what I'm looking for. Um, so you need an introduction where you identify the article, who's the author. I think that, you know, essay number two wins because they do a much better job giving us statistics, okay, whatever your thing is. Um, correct summaries of the articles, paragraph a piece, those are next. They get to, you get to copy and paste them right into your argument. And then there are three things I want you to do, okay? The first one is the reasons why you believe your side, okay, the one that you chose, the article that you chose is correct. Give me their experts, their evidence, the way they connect things. Um, okay, now some these articles are a little dated, okay? That's just how it works because I'm giving you the ones from the book, okay? So that's, that's not a strike against them. Second, reasons you believe the other article, the other side is wrong. What didn't they do well? Okay, they use too much emotions, you know, it's like the crying puppies on television kind of thing. Um, then I also want you to tell me why you personally have chosen that side. Okay, why does this resonate with you? Where do you come in on this? Maybe your side, the one that you want in your heart to win, really didn't. Okay, they didn't do as good a job as the other side. Here's your chance to tell me that. Or here's your chance to tell me, well, I've been in this position and I think this is what should happen. Okay, that kind of thing. Um, you don't necessarily have to put your points in this order, but you have to do all three things. Okay, so you have to focus on the articles itself, themselves, sorry, um, and tell me which one's better and why, which one's worse and why, and then you also have to tell me what's your opinion on this and why. Okay. So you do get to tell me your opinion, but it's not the only thing. Okay, hear me correctly on that one. Um, a little conclusion that sums it up for your reader. Um, and then to go to the next level, okay, you do all that, okay, that's a C. I mean, that's just how the re reading works. Um, you want to be better, make sure it, it makes sense in this organization, that your transitions are good, that you are following the conventions and formatting for that particular type. Now, you get to choose MLA or APA. If you're in English 112 and you want to practice APA, by all means, have at it, okay? Um, I am not giving you points based on your absolute following of the pickiness of either of those um, citation systems, but I want you to make a good stab, okay? You have to have in-text citations. Anytime you use information from the articles, you need to cite them, which means give me the page numbers, okay? Um, if you have trouble with that or you've never done that before, go to the Purdue OWL, click on MLA, walk through some of the practice stuff that they give you, okay? Um, the other part you have on your assignment sheet is a second page that is the actual rubric I'm going to use to grade your paper. Um, we have five sections, and I'm going to use this for every paper we do, okay? Um, the first one is the professionalism, okay? This is the easy stuff. It's double spaced, it's written correctly, you've got a title, you've got your name block, or you've got your title page or whatever. Um, you have a works cited page or you have a references page. Um, and to that end, I've given you both of those things for all of these articles um, up on Blackboard under Paper 1 Stuff under the major assignments. Okay, Click on that, copy and paste what you need. Only your two articles, don't give me the whole six, that's just dumb. Okay. Um, so you have it there already. You don't have to create this from scratch. It's all there. I expect you to use that. Okay, this is not a writing class. Um, we do write a lot, but it's not a writing class. I don't want you to spend your time trying to get your MLA or APA correct um, when you should be working on something else. 
or could be working on something else. Um, clarity, make sure you're actually saying what you think you're saying. Read it out loud, okay? Walk through this. Your details are accurate. Um, you have the peripheral data. You have the context correct. That's what the, that's what the summaries really do help. Um, make sure your definitions are accurate. Make sure you're understanding the situation. The articles are consistent. Um, and think about why somebody might disagree with you. Okay, counter arguments. Um, so the third part is relevance. Okay, this is degree rather than here it is. I gave you the assignment. Okay, that makes it relevant to you. What you do with that assignment, how well do you stick to what I'm asking you to do? That's where relevance comes in in this case. Okay, so if you decide, I don't want to do this paper, or I have better ideas than this, I'm sorry, this is not the time to do that. I'm asking you to do certain things. Relevance is 20% of your grade. Okay, you blow this off, the best you can hope for is a C on the paper. Okay, so do what I ask. Um, reasoning, this is your organization, this is how you've gotten through your points. The, the one you say wins um, doesn't have any experts to back them up. Okay, well, you're going to have to reason through why that's okay. So that's how that works. Um, and the last part is utility. Okay, this is basically, utility is do you get the job done, period, and then do you get the job done well? Okay, that's where you end up with the more points than less. Okay, so read through this. Anything on the rubric that doesn't make sense to you, ask me questions. Okay, put it up on, on uh, email and we'll, we'll go from there. Um, if you have questions about what's in the paper, what you got to do, email me. Um, remember that successful students really do try to get through things um, and do their best to figure things out. Um, don't just email me and say, I don't know what to do with this paper. I don't know where to start. Okay, um, read your articles, write your summaries. That's, that's a no-brainer. Okay. Um, after that, talk to me. Okay. If you're still stuck about what things mean or what you need to do, ask. Hey, or have me look. Here's what I have so far. Am I moving in the right direction? More than happy to take a look at an interim draft before you actually go down the wrong rabbit hole. Okay. So, paper one. Only these sets of articles. Okay. So, 11 and 12 for marriage, 16 and 17 for torture, waterboarding, 18 and 19 for free speech. Hit the topic, read your articles, move from there. I need to see summaries of your articles by um, August 30th, rough draft September 13th, final draft September 27th. Anything you have questions on, there's probably a handout for that under Writing Helps, um, under the Purdue Owl, um, but always, always, always feel free to talk to me, um, email me, and I will get back to you really quickly, as soon as I can, possibly can. Okay, so have a great day. Onward.